many of my subscribers requested me to do a tutorial on protein protein docking algorithm so today i'm going to show you how easy it is to perform a protein protein docking analysis this is much more easier than protein ligand docking analysis using autodoc or autodoc vena or any other software that you use but protein protein docking analysis is much easier so let me show you how to do it so first you head to the pdb database uh, you want a complex pdb file with having two chains that you want to see the interaction between those two chains so i chose this particular example 3 and 4 i this is a structure of beta lactamase uh, beta lactamase inhibitor protein blip complex okay so you need to download that particular file pdp file okay once you download this open in in um, chimera or any other primal software or whatever you like i i think chimera is the most easiest one so i choose chimera for my analysis and you select chain a okay and then go to file save and save it as a pdb file but choose save selected atoms only uh, unclick this particular option use untransformed coordinates and then save it as uh, chain a okay similarly you do with the chain b file save and then uh, name it as chain b okay and you save selected atoms only and save it yes okay so you have these two chains a and b that you want to see the interactions in between these two chains now now that you saved it you go to the Pro 2.0 protein protein docking server which is the clustpro.org yeah? and then um, use your uh, institutional email id or maybe your gmail id to register register will take uh, around 10 to 20 minutes or maybe maybe quicker and then once you register you get the login id and the password so i'm going to log in yeah i have logged in already and there are a few options over here you head over to the doc option over here okay give a job name um, suppose for instance uh, protein protein docking i have already performed the docking just for the tutorial purpose i'm showing you how to uh, do this so 3 and 4 i or something and you can select cpu and gpu i select gpu and upload uh, the chain a file as a receptor okay and then upload chain b as the ligand file so a receptor and this is your ligand file okay there are some advanced options over here if you want to explore these advanced options that's also fine it is similar to haddock server haddock server has that uh, many options that you can choose for the attractions um, repulsion and also uh, if you want some antibody mode that also you can perform here if you have an antibody complex then you can choose antibody mode and it will perform that docking uh, analysis for you and there are several other options but the simplest way is to identify between two chains like chain a and chain b protein protein docking is to upload your receptor file chain a and chain b and then uh, you can directly go and click dock and that's it it will be submitted so once it is submitted you can see this id and this is your username so you click here so it will show you the receptor file and the ligand file over here and it will also show you if there are any errors um, in your input file if there are none then it will run for uh, the minimization protocol and also the docking uh, algorithm if you want to read the papers then you go uh, papers then you can read all those uh, papers over here okay and i think this is the paper that i also have reviewed uh, it was submitted um, to yeah this journal this particular journal but uh, i have reviewed this paper uh, i guess um, in 2022 yes in 2022 i have reviewed this paper but anyway 
So, uh, and if you want the help documentation, how the docking process is done, you can always uh, choose this. So one good thing about um, the Class Pro is that they provide the exact docking algorithms and how to choose the receptors. So I'm going to show you some of the results that I have already done with the same um, PDB file. So if I head over to the results and you can see that I have already uh, docked um, the complex before. So I'm going to open this and you can see that this is your job details. Okay and these are your model scores if you click here you will find all these model scores so there are four types of models that they predict one is the balanced one one is the electrostatic favored one is hydrophobic favored and another one is van der waals plus electrostatic favored you can download all the scores okay for the balanced one for the electrostatics for the hydrophobic and for the van der waals and this is how they calculate uh, the scoring uh, pattern or the scoring alg uh, algorithm so now you can see here so um, let me show you another thing that they have mentioned over here I see four different choices for my docking results uh, balanced electrostatic favored and so on the van der Waals uh, and the hydrophobic which one should I choose we provide many different options for docking because we believe good results go hand in hand with experimental knowledge of the complex if you don't have any prior knowledge of what forces dominate in your complex we recommend using the balanced uh, coefficients if your complex is antibody antigen we recommend using our antibody mode as I mentioned previously that if you have an antibody and antigen complex you can choose the antibody mode but if you have a protein protein complex if you don't have any prior knowledge about how the docking uh, scoring algorithms have been done uh, in this case then you can choose the balanced one so I go back to the results and you can see that I have chosen the balanced one and you see these weighted scores this is the lowest energy which you require basically this is the um, most favorable uh, energy or the most favorable confirmations with having um, the lowest energy that is in negative that means highest binding affinity okay so you choose the number zero cluster in the balanced one so if you are also um, try to explore other different algorithms that has been favored for your protein protein docking complex you can also choose uh, other different options so for instance I'm going to choose this balanced one and uh, go to the models and you can download all the models over here uh, around 30 models are here but you can select zero and it will be downloaded to your downloads directory okay now what I'm going to show you is if you go to the downloads directory you have the original complex over here that you downloaded from PDB right so this is your uh, PDB uh, complex and this is your um, predicted complex from class pro so if you overlap these two um, so if you drag and drop over here and you can see that this is your chain A and this is your chain B as you can see so this chain B is your ligand that means another protein complex that is chain B that you have docked into the complex now you can see that how how well the docking has been performed and how good is the RMST between um, these two complexes that you can see it correctly overlaps uh, onto the PDB complex so I think the interactions or the possible docking algorithm performed by um, class pro the protein protein docking algorithm is kind of accurate so that you can compare uh, with your experimental structure itself now you can see how it is well um, you know superimposed so if you go here and if you want to download all the models you can download all the models it will be downloaded um, into a folder now you can see all your complexes so if you want all these models to directly upload over here and you want to see how the um, superimposition works so you just and you can 
you can see many different types of uh, complexes that you can paste over here. So you see multiple conformations. Some of the protein um, chain B has been docked over here and this one is having the lowest um, I mean the highest binding affinity that is the lowest energy of high uh, scores you can see this one is having a high score that means this particular pose the cluster zero with this um, lowest energy is having the correct pose when you superimpose with your pdb complex right so this is uh, really fascinating to see that it also gives you multiple conformations as you can see over here also uh, view models and you can see this is your zero complex that is the balanced one and you can see there is um, another conformation this is another conformation and you can see many conformations so you can choose uh, whichever is favored for your analysis i think uh, the balanced one the zero is the most favorable one but you can also explore the electrostatic one you can see the scores and this is having um, I think the highest one minus 1149 and let me see the hydrophobic it's okay and uh, van der Waals uh, it's not okay so electrostatic favorite is having the highest one so I go to the electrostatic one and download this particular complex let's see and what you can do is I'm going to close this so you can open the original complex and then you drag uh, this particular complex into it now you can see that this electrostatic favored one is having a little bit better superimposition than the balanced one so in this way you can you know identify which of the which is having the highest binding affinity and then you can choose your model uh, accordingly okay this is one way that you perform the protein protein docking analysis i think it takes uh, about six hours six to seven hours or maybe one day if you have a large uh, complex if it is antibody mode then it might take one day 24 hours for the um, docking to be performed on the server and you can always check the help documentation how they have performed uh, all these uh, docking calculations okay so this is way and that you uh, can extract the energy and also the complexes so that you can compare with your pdb complex or maybe if it is a noble one then you might want to explore all the scores that you have seen over here so so that you can decide which one is favored for your complex so this is how you do protein protein docking analysis and now for the interactions you know somebody uh, from my subscribers and they mentioned that pdb e pisa is one of the uh, tools that you can use online so you can launch pdb e pisa and i'm going to give that particular complex name that is 3 and 4 i i'm giving an example you can also upload your coordinate file over here and then you can analyze you can see that you have two amino acid chains interfaces you can analyze yeah these are your interfaces and also i want to show you uh, if you click here view and you can see exactly how the protein protein interactions uh, occurs between these two chains chain a and chain b okay you can visualize the structure and also you can analyze all different types of interactions using this particular tool but sometimes this tool might not perform what you want to achieve you know sometimes it's 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 not gonna give you a little bit more details about how the interactions happens so for that i have this tool called i have developed this tool called panda prot you go to my um, github and then go to my repository and then you have this panda prot okay 
So this is the tool that you can install for the protein protein interaction analysis. Simply what you have to do is you have to do like pip install panda prod and it will be installed. Okay. So I have already installed. So for that, what you have to do is you have to create a virtual environment, which is Python 3 minus M V E N V dot V E N V. And then you have to do is uh, activate that particular Python environment and you install it via pip install panda prod. I have already installed it. Okay, let me show you. Yeah, it's already installed. And you can explore the command as panda prod minus h. Okay, this is uh, the command line. So let me tell you how to analyze uh, the structures. For instance, um, if we have um, this one, for instance, the structures that we want to an analyze, this is the balanced one. So what you have to do is you have to give this particular command. So panda prod your model PDB file. You want 3D plot, then you can provide the 3D plot and also all interactions, the report minus minus export uh, visualization for the PyMol, for the chimera, uh, for VMD, I guess. And output should be class pro or whatever uh, you name it okay and then type enter so it will load the structure and then map all the interaction types and it will create these many files so one is the class pro 3d that you gave the 3d plot so when you click here you have a HTML file and you can see what type of interactions are possible between chain a and chain B I think these many interactions are possible between chain A and chain B. You will get also a report like a CSV file. So you can uh, explore what are the interaction types between what type of amino acid residues. For instance, chain A, chain B, GLN 99 with leucine 127, the atom is O and the distance is 2.84. So likewise, you can explore all the interactions type even the salt bridges, even the hydrophobic interactions, ionic interactions, hydrogen bonds, etc. So this is a very comprehensive tool. All these uh, PyMol file, this is the TCL file for VMD. And this is the report. I think this is for uh, Molstar. And this is uh, your output file as a PDB file. Okay. But you can explore uh, the scores um, using this class pro report so that you get a very quick idea about what are the residues that have been uh, interacting and you also get uh, the 3d visualization uh, report you can see all types of residues so yeah so panda prod is a uh, really helpful you can explore pdb um, pisa also this is also really helpful but you can compare between all the tools so that you can get a clear idea how you can perform protein protein um, docking analysis okay so this is the command line that you can use panda prod but uh, class pro gives you a very nice protein protein docking analysis options and you can also do the peptide docking also they have provided some of the examples you can uh, see the sample cases how they have docked the protein and the peptide okay and you can also classify the dimers what type of dimers are possible from a PDB structure that also you can do and uh, another option is your antibody mode as you can see antigen antibody docking also you can uh, perform here you can explore all the options so yeah that's it it's very easy very convenient you don't have to prepare anything all the PDB files are here and you can perform protein protein docking analysis I guess that's it and thank you very much hope to see you in another tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel thanks very much